So, um, we're at BotCon 2012. Yeah. With me, I have Pete Tinker from Fun Pub. Hey, Pete. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good, good, good. How's the con been? Oh, it's been great. We've had just a ton of people. Saturday was huge. We had a walk-in line all around the corner and up the stairs and uh, register attendees. The, the hall was packed on Friday before we even had general admission, so it's been a great show. That's awesome. Uh, what would you say has been the... Uh, the highlight of the show for you? For me? Yes. Or for the fans? For, no, uh, you, you are a fan. For me, the highlight will be at 3.30 uh, today, but uh, <laughs> but no, I think, the, I think the highlight of the show probably was, uh, usually it's just the guests and the toys. I think people were excited to get the exclusives this year. The Junkions obviously were the, the big hit. Um, Spinister did real well. Uh, Prime, people loved it. So I, I think the toys is always in, of course, just seeing some of the you know the, the voices behind the characters, David and Buster and Dan and Gary and of course Derek J. Wyatt was here and, um, and Simon Furman and Abby Collins being inducted to the Hall of Fame. So it's just been a great weekend all around. Uh, personally, for me, the uh, highlight was the uh, reveal of the uh, subscription service, which I, I oh yeah yeah I guess you know I should plug my own stuff. Uh, of course, yes, the subscription service is huge. Um, we're very excited about it. How we, long have you been working on it? Uh, we started back. Uh, I think we started discussing it last summer. And probably started working on it um, by November, and we already had the decos done. We got the decos done a few months ago, so it's it's already been well into the the, uh, the pipeline. So, what was of the uh, ones that we see for this coming year? What's your favorite? The Ultra Mammoth. That was a that that was an idea. That just kind of it just kind of hit me out of the blue. We were looking for kind of a bigger toy and a beast related toy, and I kind of looked at the shelf of beast toys and. I saw him sitting there, and it just kind of like light bulb went off. I thought, well, you know, because uh, you know, you, you don't you don't want to do you know, Nemesis Prime's already been done with him, and who else can you do? And of course, the Ultra Magnus repaints from Prime, and I was like, Ultra Mammoth, greatest pun ever. And it's really great too. You're able to pick a lot of really obscure things like Circuit. I mean, there's probably a dozen people around who, off the top of their head, will realize who that is and why the mold choice was so appropriate, especially, and like the the kickoff. You know, you, you're so great at doing the, uh, the really obscure characters that there's no other outlet for. And the subscription service looks like it's going to be a great way to even expand that. Yeah, I mean, U- Ultra Mammoth is something you would never have seen, yeah, exactly. you know, at retail. And actually, it was actually even a trick to, we were a little worried that the mold might be gone. Oh, yeah. And we actually had to do, you know, Hasbro really went above and beyond to, to track down the tool because it was it was gone. Yeah. They, uh, they actually, uh, I think they found it. Um, and... Uh, we were just thrilled that they actually found it. So it, it's it, kind it, of freaking out. I'm like, what are we gonna? What other big toy are we gonna do? But is there anything you can tell us that be like on your short list for the next round of subscriptions? If you could have anything, or Blue Sky, and even if yeah, you can't like, do yeah. it, what would you well, like to see? I mean, what, what, be, what would be your dream thing to do for the next round of subscriptions? Man, I, you know, honestly, I, I don't even know. I mean, it really, when there was a couple weeks where I wasn't sure we were gonna do Ultra Mammoth, I was kind of bummed. Yeah, that really is kind of like the at the top of my list. Yeah, you, you got your. Blue I haven't Sky even. Then, we haven't even. I mean, we're working on next year box set already and then we're working on the subscription service so I haven't even started thinking about 20 uh, well I take that back we have to start thinking about 2014 <laughs> we've thought about it some but we haven't really gotten into yeah. it much yeah. so we've got a little time yeah. uh, any other questions? no I don't think so okay well it, I've really enjoyed BotCon okay. Pete it's been awesome I, have. I think the fans I mean it's been the, the response we got at our panel um, when we revealed the subscription service was just huge I mean the, 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 never heard so much applause um, during a, a, a figure reveal, the Peter Collin panel was great. People loved to be in the city this morning. It's just, it's just been a great show. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thank you.